So race 10 is going to be a grade 1 2 mile 4 hurdle. It's the Prialan du Novice Adil. So bomb theory for Leon van Rensburg, Josh Sutherland's emotional Huntsville picnic for Vinnie Gerard, David Robertson's substitute, mini fortune time for Leon van Rensburg, movie lights for David Hooley, Patrick Hogan's Petroglyph Raven and the last train also for Josh Sutherland. Just eight of these novices to go to this grade 1 event over 2.5 miles on the hurdle course here at Oitoi. Style has got him away. Now racing. As we wait for him to settle down. It's the movie lights and the last train with Huntsville picnic between them. They're just leading, but you can throw a blanket over them. They're all within a length and a half of each other as they will skip over the first of 16 they'll have to take here. And, uh, just go off the ride a little bit after coming over. That one was Mini Fortune Time. So go over the second and we've got a clear leader now in movie lights. So movie lights from substitute. And all of horses, although substitute decides to drop back into that line. So it's just this movie lights of David Hula that leads them over the third. They all clear that big mistake there by the last train. Hit the ground hard. Still got his jockey in the plate though. But movie lights leads him into the fourth. And the fifth comes quick. Skip over that. So moving lights just leads from emotional out wide. Well, they're taking a hold again to get in the, the line, which includes everybody bar the last train. One right up against the rally's mini fortune time, just when he's outside his Huntsville picnic. And the yellow silk silks of Petroglyph Raven and the second Leon Van Rensburg run up, which I think is actually that's mini fortune time. Bomb, bomb theory is the one up against the fence. The widest of all is. Emotional, and then last train just bringing up the rear as they go to the six. We'll clear that. So it's movie lights from Bomb Theory. Your one, two. We'll get to the seventh. And we'll clear that as well. Good jump there by Bomb Theory. Cuts into movie lights lead as they come alongside the grandstand now. The road takes a hold again. And that was movie lights to control the race from the front by a couple of lengths from Emotional Petroglyph Raven and Bomb Theory and then the Green Silks of Huntsville Picnic has moved up on the running row followed through by Mini Fortune Time looking for his, a three time up and then Substitute and Last Train pretty close as we wave to the grandstands and we'll say goodbye to those fans and go off out for another circuit as they come to the 8th and we'll clear that well so Movie Lights still leads us by a couple of lengths to Emotional out wide Raven in third, Huntsville picking up alongside the running row in fourth, and Bomb Theory just shuffling back a little bit. And the three at the rear, last train on the route. On the route, the last train. <laughs> Amazing. As they go over the ninth, and substitute and mini fortune timer just at the rear. So, Movie Light still leads us as we come down to the final mile. A couple of lengths to Huntsville picnic has moved into second now on his own. With the last train, Bomb Theory, and Emotional. Cliff Raven, Substitute, and Mini Fortune Time. They come to the next. Slow over it a little bit, movie lights there. They got within a length of him now. Huntsville Picnic is the closest, and then the last train has come off the rail now. It's got a crash, got a crash. As they go over the 11th, they'll clear that poor jump there by emotion on the wide outside. Shuffles back, but it's still moving lights that leads by a couple of lengths to Huntsville Picnic and the last train and bomb theory. Petroglyph Raven starting to pick up a little bit now as they go over the 12th. So we're just four to take. It's movie lights from the last train and Huntsville Picnic. Then a length and a half to bomb theory and Petroglyph Raven. The ones two running on out wider, emotional and substitute mini fortune time. It's probably not going to win from there, but it's movie lights that leads inside the final half mile from hard run hard running last train and Huntsville picnic moving up well now is emotional as they swing left hand into line up for the judge and we've got a length back to Petroglyph Raven and Bomb Theory wider still a substitute and mini fortune time trying to make up the ground but it's movie lights three furlongs left to run still got a three length advantage from emotional Huntsville picnic of the last train Petroglyph Raven and Bomb Theory still running on from the back is mini fortune time and substitute but the leaders over the 15th we're just one to take it's movie lights leads by three from Huntsville 
Huntsville Picnic, Emotional Bomb Theory, The Last Train, Petroglyph Raven. Over the last, he's still got a three-length advantage. Inside the final furlong, and it's Movie Lights from Huntsville Picnic. Nothing else is really picking up from the pack. Movie Lights, here comes Huntsville Picnic. Movie Lights is starting to tire. He needs the line. Movie Lights, Huntsville Picnic. Over the top, Huntsville Picnic. Huntsville Picnic on the line. Takes it from Movie Lights, a long-time leader. A win there for Vinnie Gerard. As I've said, he's certainly going to give Josh Sutherland and Leon Van Rensburg something to worry about, and probably David Hooley next season. And it's Huntsville pick that takes this Grade One novice hurdle. Well done from Movie Lights to David Hooley, the last train, and Emotional were third and fourth for Josh Sutherland, and Petroglyph Raven for Patrick Hogan was fifth.